Hi, I'm Ivan from WebWash, and in this video, I'll show you all the new media functionality that's in Drupal 8.6. Now, I've covered media management a lot on WebWash, and just recently, I did a webinar on how to set up media module, entity embed, entity browser, drop zone JS. And if you wanna learn all about these modules, you can watch the webinar by grabbing the link below this video. But right now, I wanna focus on what's new, in Drupal 8.6. So enough of me talking, let's jump right in. Okay, so here is my stock standard Drupal 8.6, I think RC1, I think it's the release candidate one. Um, it is a standard Drupal 8 site and I installed it using the standard installation profile. So to begin, just click on extend and then search for media and you'll see that there's a new experimental module called media library. But let's first install the media module and then go to structure, media types. And you'll notice that there's a new media type called remote video. This is new in 8.6. In 8.5, you just had audio file, um, image and video. And then if we edit the remote video field, sorry, media type, you'll see that there's a new um, media source called remote video. And this is using OEmbed. And that's another thing that's new in 8.6. Right now, um, Drupal 8.6 supports OEmbed. And if you don't know what that is, because I'm sure I'm sure uh, somebody's asking, Ivan, what is OEmbed? Well, if you go to oembed.com, you can learn all about it. But essentially, it is a simple API which allows the website to embed, um, to display embedded content without having to parse the resource directly. Now, I did read half the first sentence, but if you want to learn more about it, head over, head over to oembed.com and Drupal 8.6 has now uh, support for oembed. And if you scroll down, you can see the allowed providers. So right now, um, it only supports YouTube and Vimeo. So if you have watched my previous videos on setting up um, entity embed, entity browser, um, what is it, video embed field, you will notice that this is very similar to video embed field. Now, can this replace the module? I think at this point, uh, no. Especially if you want to embed videos from other providers which aren't supported, because right now it only supports YouTube and Vimeo. So if you want to embed Wistia videos, for example, well then you'll have to use video um, embed field. Now, if you click on manage display, you will see that there's a new formatter as well, which is called oembed content. And this formatter is responsible for, for converting the URL into an embeddable player, okay? And then if you click on the cogwheel, you will see that you really can't customize the player. Right now, it's very, very generic. You can only modify the maximum width, the maximum height. I think in video embed field, you can customize a whole bunch of stuff, such as autoplay feature, if you like that, um, and also a whole bunch of other things. So I don't think this will replace video embed field, but have a play with it. So let's now create a remote video and see how it all works. So go to content, media, and then click on add media and then click on remote video. And the only field you have here is video URL, which kind of makes sense. So let me just grab a YouTube video and then click on save. And you can see that now the media module grab the title and the thumbnail. And then if we click on it, we should see an embedded player. Awesome. Now let's attach this to a content type. Okay, so let's go to structure, content types. And what I'll do is I will add a media field to the content type. So let's call this feature video and then click on save and continue. Let's just only allow one item, that's okay. And then make sure you select remote video from media type and click on save. Now, if we go to content, Add content article. Let's create a test article. I'll call this test article, very original. And then if you scroll down, you'll see the feature video with this widget. It's not the greatest 
user experience, you still have to go to a separate page to create the piece of content and then come back and try and remember the title of it. But I know it's there's an A in the title. So I've, I've found the existing media. And then if I click on save, it'll display the embedded video at the bottom. Simple. Now let's look at the media library module. So click on extend and then search for media again. And in 8.6, we have this new experimental module called media library. So let's just install it. And of course, understand that it is an experimental module. Use at your own risk. And then just click on continue. Now let's go to content, media. And one of the things you'll notice is that you get these new options up the top when you install media library. So grid and table. But the exciting part is that you also get a new field widget. So let's go back into content types, manage fields. And this is why I wanted to create this field earlier. And then click on manage form display. Here is our media field. And if you click on the drop down, you'll see this new um, widget called media library. If you click on that and then just click on save. And then if we go into our test article, which we created earlier, you get this whole new widget. So let me just remove the selected video. And then let's go back in. You get this button, browse media. You click on that and then it'll show all of the remote videos that have been added to the site. Right now, there's only one, but if I, if I select this one and then click on select media, it adds it in there and then I click on save. And then if we view the test article, it'll show you the embedded video. There is one problem, however, okay? If you remove this, you can't create a new, a new YouTube video or Vimeo video in the site. You can't, you can't add it to your site without having to go to content, media, and so on and so forth. But let's now put in another media field for images. So let's go into content, manage fields, and we'll call this one gallery. So just imagine we are going to create a gallery, so we have to upload multiple images. So let me just call this gallery. And then let's select unlimited under allowed number of values. And then we'll select image. And notice how there's this new button called add media. So let's, let's just click on save. And then if we go to content, add content. Well, well let, let's go back. Let's edit our existing article. You'll see that we can browse assets, but you can't see any images because we haven't uploaded any. And if you want to add some, you can click on add media up here, or you can click on add media here. So let's just upload a few images. And let me see. Oh, it supports multiple images. Hmm. Let me select multiple images and see what happens. Oh, nice. Ha, huh, I did not know this. You can now bulk upload images, which is awesome. That's cool. So let's just add in an alt text. Make sure you add a proper alt text on a site, make it useful, and then just click on save. And then if I was to say add media again, and let me select this Drupal icon, I can add even more images. And then you can reorder them as well just by clicking and dragging, which is pretty cool. And then if we click on save and then view our test article, you can see all of the images have been added. Now, the final thing I wanna show you is that if you do click on this add media, let's say we wanna select these files, you can click and drag them across. And then it automatically just uploads them in there. You can add in your alt text. And let's see what happens. It's just gonna add a whole bunch of a whole bunch of more images. So that, that is pretty cool. So that's pretty much what's new with media management in 8.6. Let's just go over that again. It um, In 8.6, you get a new media type called remote video. There's O-embed functionality. And also now there's a new module called media library. 
Now, you might be thinking, does Media Library replace Entity Browser? I would say right now, if you are going to build a decent sized Drupal 8.6 site in the next month or two, still stick with Entity Browser because Entity Browser gives you way more functionality. Anyway, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to learn more about Drupal, head over to webwash.net where you can learn all things uh, Drupal. Of course, this video being on YouTube, I have to also ask you, please, if you enjoyed this video, why don't you subscribe to my YouTube channel? Anyway, that's it from me. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you next time.